Welcome to Wednesdays. We've got a guest. <laughs> my sister. <laughs> Georgia <laughs> motherfucking a boo. Oh my woo, God. Woo. Actually, no, isn't it Georgia Berry? Well, I haven't legally changed my name yet. Okay, fine. <laughs> Georgia Habu. Georgia Habu's in the house and we just got loads to catch up on. We just did a contouring demo for you guys. So you can go onto our Instagram pages, onto our TikToks, and you can see how she contours my face. Disclaimer, I have a peeling face. I was going to say that. Don't want people to think that's um, patchy blending on my part. <laughs> yeah. She had a peel. I, I a... actually think it doesn't look patchy at all. Just a little bit on that jaw. Fine. So what happened was I had a transamic acid peel for my pigmentation with at Tatiana's clinic. And my skin's a bit peely from it. <laughs> <laughs> I also had salmon sperm Me and Melissa do yesterday. this all day long. We just go, hmm. after everything. You do it more than I do. You do it so much without noticing. You say after every sentence, yes, in the car, you're like, oh my God, why am I doing yeah, it? Yeah, yesterday still? was really bad, but you do it in public. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a coffee, please? <laughs> no, you know when I see you do it in your TikTok, when you've like filmed something and you're like, oh. Can you do this? And you're like, hmm. That's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> you know what it is? It's from the, it's <laughs> cute. So Jamie's always gone to me, scared from Big Daddy. What's the, Big Daddy? A film. A, a movie. And this oh. little boy goes, Daddy, I'm scared. And then me and Melissa were going, scared. So they sound quite similar. So one day, <laughs> so that's why I was crying because I knew what he was doing. I did So we're filming this thing and we're going, hmm, it's cute. And then Jamie just joins in. And he's like, hmm, scared. Because he thought that was I what we know. And he kept doing it, it was being really sweet. That would melt my We heart. didn't correct him. He was like, hmm, scared. And then all this time, Melissa's just thought that he randomly was going, scared. But I was like, <laughs> everyone's got confused. Oh, bless. I had salmon sperm yesterday, hence why my face is really puffy. Sophie loves it. She thinks it makes me look like 18. So this won't <laughs> stay like this forever. I think she looks 12. She does. It's, yeah. it's not actually salmon sperm. It's salmon sperm DNA that rebuilds your DNA. And I had it yeah. all th- under my eye. Through, and she did it on my forehead. I'm also going to shout yeah, out to Heart really? Medical, who's the one who did it for me. And it looks so good. And she's freaking unreal. She spent like two hours with me like analysing my face, what I needed before I did anything oh i like, love that fucking love i it. also had it but guys we've got a serious crisis because I've, we've spoken about it loads on this podcast before me and melissa get botox in our jaw and we get it to reduce the mass to muscle anyway ages ago way back when i feel weird like, I'm honestly maybe five like, years ago now five years ago i had it so frozen when melissa no it must have been six when you first met me yeah, and melissa says yeah. that she used to just look at me and be like She's really weird. pretty but why does she smile ugly <laughs> ugly smile um, i literally just thought she doesn't have a nice smile <laughs> If it goes into the wrong muscle, the wrong nerve, it can freeze the <laughs> smile. And basically it's happened. So this side is frozen and it's just a real bad situation. I don't <laughs> I know. I was laughing so much her yesterday. So kind so she of smiles like with one side. Yeah, and it's just ugly. Like I just look, <laughs> like, I look rank to be honest. I don't know how long it's gonna be. She was hit. asking me yesterday the other day before, like, does it look bad? And I like, honestly just couldn't stop pissing myself. <laughs> no, I was she like, was like, <laughs> it looks so bad. She was like, oh my God, you just don't look like yourself. It is you know, horrendous. <laughs> That's what she said to me. I was like, she was like, Sophie, <laughs> don't worry about being honest. Horrendous. <laughs> like, try your really hard smile. Yeah. This is <laughs> every time she was smiling at me, I thought she was like fake smiling almost. I was like, "You're not really smiling. You're not really trying." She's like, "This is me trying with all my might." And yeah, it's like, it looks like you're like pretending. Yeah, I know. So yeah. that made me laugh so. Then the funniest thing is, obviously, I don't tell Jamie these things because, like, he even despite him like injecting Botox into his face, he thinks <laughs> that Botox is like filler or a facelift. If I oh, do, yeah, yeah, he won't yeah. know the difference. But I'm like, you do it. Yeah, but he's then like, he should you really can't know. be doing it. Anyway, he's looking at me and I'm like laughing away at a dinner table. And he goes, hmm, a small little mouth. <laughs> I go, what? He's like, he's like, you're like, you know when someone's staring at you, you know, I know, I'm self-conscious about it. And I know he's staring at me. <laughs> and he's like this, <laughs> small little mouth. Because obviously when I laugh, him. I'm like, really, it's killed me. And I just know he keeps looking at me thinking, my wife looks quite butters up there. <laughs> Don't know what's going on around her. And I'm just, it's, I hate it. <laughs> this is me doing it, man. <laughs> ben, ben, yeah, this is ben it. Ben is like, you're no, not. No. He's like, no, no, no give me a bit This is it. It's look frozen. at me. Look at me. <laughs> it's really funny. I we drive around in my car so like funny. this because I just try to stretch it. it. So anyone oh. driving past me just sees me like this. <laughs> Need to chew chewing gum all the time. <laughs> yeah, do it constantly. And, and then the face gym thing apparently. Yeah, helps. Yeah. 
So that's the plot of my life. Just so we've life. got that out of the way. And every day, all I do, and I'm sorry to be vain, but all I do is look at my phone 40 times in the camera she to took see if seven it's gone. I'm of just her like, face. is it back smiling? Yet? Like, <sighs> has it come back in space for an hour? Like? Well, apparently it's back in two weeks. And look, I've got really strong muscles because my Botox just doesn't yeah. Yeah. Like, quit, look yeah. at that. But it can take up to two months. When did you get it done? On the internet, it says four to six months. Yeah, but apparently because it's it majoritively in the masseter, it's only a little bit that's spilled yeah. into those other strains that will wear off super quick. Yours wears off quickly anyway, your Botox, like, always. So. Yeah, you know when I got it was literally the day before the break, so thank God my smile was fine then. Thank God it hasn't kicked in. <sighs> Melissa's had a haircut. It's a <laughs> lot of hair off. It's quite short. I wasn't anticipating into like, Every time I like go to tie my hair up, I'm like, oh my God, there's no hair there. Do you know what I mean? It's You've when you do a ponytail. Like, <gasps> yeah, there's nothing there. But What's the pony looking like? fresh for summer and it will grow out. Hopefully in like a month, it'll be an inch longer and then I'll be really, really happy yeah. with it. I love it as is. At least it's healthy. I feel like I've had so much bleach and like, yeah, from like was... balayage and stuff to try and like help cover up all my grey hairs, which if I'm honest, you can actually see right now. Can you see this? No. no. Two, I can you see. You can see it, yeah. So, do you have any grey hairs yet? No. Same. So I don't happy. think we're going to go grey. I know. I'm so... Had, is your uh, mum grey at all? Not really at all. Barely, yeah. Barely. So And lucky. dad is quite grey, but like maybe when he was 60. Yeah. But I'm getting like pupas coming out my hair and I think that's my greys. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who told me I that. thought you were well, going to say I'm getting grey pupas. I know. I was. Well, <laughs> she's not getting... She's getting happen? dark curly cool hair. I don't hair. know. I guess so. I, yeah, I actually have no idea. Oh my God. Grey pubes. Grey pubes. Fuck! I've, yeah, I have no idea. I might have to Google that. They're not like white. Trust me, I see because I um, I have a trust gym. me, I see. I go to a gym and there was. Oh, I thought you were gonna say because Jamie's. Old. I know. I was about to say, where is this going? <laughs> Melissa always thinks Jamie's like thirty-seven. And I'm like, no, no. How old is he? Thirty-five. Oh, he's not that old. He's only two years older than Barry. Right. Listen. So you get yeah. grey pubes. You do. We just googled it. Look, Fuck. I don't know. I don't think I'll have much hair by then. I've had so much laser. Mine's, yeah, there's oh, I better no, not. Yeah, to come off. Do you think we're gonna ever back? regret that? Having like a bald vagina when you're like seventy. I think by then you'll get some of it back. Do you know what I've seen somewhere? I don't know where I've seen it about people getting. You know, you can get like eyebrow implants to get yes. more hair, and I've seen apparently people are getting it on their vagina. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because they don't like their bald anymore. They regret it and they're getting hair implanted back into their vagina. I remember this like magazine once I was reading, I think it was like Cosmopolitan when I was really young. Fascinating. And it was like this thing, she was like, I've had all of my vagina lasered, now I'm at the man of my dreams and he likes a hairy vagina <laughs> and I'm there's nothing I can do about it. And we've had to break up because it's his like one thing that's like a deal breaker. Loads of like, boys like a landing strip. Loads really? like a landing strip. I don't think I've ever met quite one child, like without any hair. So it is maybe if you some think guys about are like it. I feel I, cleaner. Yeah. I know it's not. Yeah, Te it's not technically as no. hygienic, right? Because it's like meant the hair's meant it to is keep hygienic. Out, yeah, keep, to keep out the, the bad bugs. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. That's why you have eyebrows and eyelashes as well. It's like to things. catch things from your eyes. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, being serious. I didn't understand why we had hair down there. I was like, what's it protecting? I think that's right. That yeah. is right. Right. I've that obviously right. like each other and I don't care if someone's got a hairy vagina or not. I personally don't enjoy having one. Power to the bush. Yeah, we just can't. Also, do you know what I'm really funny about? <laughs> is ah! Power to, to the the power to the bush. Power to the bush. I'm, I'm like, really, honestly, power to the bush. Yeah, all for you. And for the underarms, if you're if you're yeah, for it, fair. you're for it. Go, go you. Saves a hell of a lot of time. Really does. Yeah, and but shaving. then so does laser. <laughs> yeah, laser's good, but shaving, like, I get why people don't want to shave. I've tried waxing once. It, to me... Takes a lot was of time. Actually, no, it was torture. I was like, yeah. she actually said to me halfway through, do you just want to stop? So I was wailing. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, way on your vagina. Yeah, but I think really? I hadn't. You know, you went to start like waxing quite young, quite young and yeah. I started yeah. quite old. So I'd obviously been shaving, been shaving for years. It, strong it was. Oh, it yeah, was I honestly was like, I can never but do that again. But laser's fucking painful. How do we like our men? Oh, Ooh, how do we like our men though? Because it's all about fucking girls sorting themselves out. What about those Ooh, hairy my brushes? My husband spends more time grooming than I do, I would say. Can we debrief on Barry's grooming I situation? I love that He's from him. He's so grooming. Greamy Greamerson. He's grooming. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Talk us through it. This is daily. I actually you... had to... He's he was, he's going to murder me for this. Um, I actually had to... <laughs> we're going out for dinner tonight for a date night and I had to trim the back of his neck before he went to work for our date How night. long are the back hair? The neck hairs? Well, the neck's just like under his haircut, but his That's back hair's 
are a problem. I, <laughs> how long have you ever seen them? They could be like this long, <gasps> like a couple of inches, some of them. You could get laser on that. Oh yeah, yeah. I've tried. I I did actually say next birthday. I'm just gonna, whether you Maybe like it or not. Maybe just an at home laser. Hair, just go they're not for that long. No, lying. honestly, a couple of inches. Some of them. Oh, because like, they're oh, curly. If you pull one. them yeah. out, yeah. How long is that growing for? Because he does it so regularly. I don't know. <laughs> Can you please tell the story about when he did the towel? Thing? Oh my oh. god. We have flat with a balcony. Um. So we were spending a lot of time on our balcony, obviously, as were all our neighbours. It was like summer, COVID, you can leave the house. And <laughs> just living our lives. <laughs> <as> you do, yeah. <laughs> we get a letter through posted under our door. Like, so obviously someone in our building, so we have like letterboxes, but someone had obviously come to our door and slid it under the door. And you can't knock on the door because it's COVID. Yeah, so well, they probably just didn't want they didn't to know, see us yeah. face to face. So, um, very as we opens this letter, I wasn't really concentrating and I see his face like, go why like he's literally <laughs> like and i was like what's happened like what is this and he was like actually didn't want me to see it I was like oh nothing nothing and i was like no what is this let me read oh, it yeah. Stop. yeah and basically this letter was like hi uh we're your downstairs neighbors we'd really appreciate it if you stop throwing your um like the hoover bag rubbish over the balcony the dust, the dust over the balcony um <laughs> because it flies underneath and goes straight onto our balcony we'd also really appreciate it if you stopped it throwing your pubes over the balcony <laughs> <laughs> i was like what so you say punchy from them i so punchy <laughs> but fair enough fair. Fair. i was on a blaze imagine oh well, i was picturing them having a friday night little drink on the balcony oh, and it just what? pubes flying pubes in, your, in face. your face no and just sunbathing like, and it actually it, i i don't know if it was his pubes but he he shaves his chest like every like month or so because he, he he's a very hairy boy um and probably i'd have done his back hairs and <laughs> oh, <laughs> they look like pubes. but they look like pubes yeah the dark curly hairs and uh, he'd have done it like over so he does it over, stands on a towel and i assumed he put the towel the the hairs in the loo, but no, he goes to the balcony and wafts them over and they go straight into the balcony. I actually, <laughs> it's the best thing. If you know it's Barry one of as the well. best stories, he would have been so mortified. He's he, mortified. Have you ever met them? Do you them? know which neighbour it is? No, no, we don't Thank know who they are. God. Oh my things. God, I need you to tell the story about when you went, when that boy's grandma died and then you went. <laughs> Just, you know when you have like an embarrassing moment that you'll never go over? Like, yeah, 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 it shakes you to today. I actually am so embarrassed. Still, so it's you probably I've probably picked it up too much, but basically, I was like seeing this boy really early on, um, like early on dating. We were like maybe third day it was at uni, and on we about we'd arranged to like see each other on Saturday on like the like our third day literally, and then he texted me and was like, um, so sorry, like got to cancel. My it was his granddad. My granddad's died, and I was like, oh, oh my god, so sorry. Like, hope you're okay. Anyway, a couple hours passed and he replied to my text being like, it's okay, um, I'm just really sad I didn't get to say goodbye. Aww. And I know, and I reply saying, well, don't worry, I'll just see you on Sunday. <sighs> she thought it was about her. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> have her. So self-absorbed. I know, that's all I think. I'm like, <laughs> his granddad's died. <laughs> He's thinking about, I'm thinking about, he miss, misses me. It's honestly just to don't worry. I'll see you. <laughs> he what did, did he reply? He said, "I think he replied saying no to my granddad." What did you? What did you know? Was I there was, no fourth I was like, I remember oh her calling God. me, and I was at school, and she was like, "Something no, really bad happened." That is yeah. harrowing. It was obviously, like at least twelve years ago, because I've been with Barry twelve years, and I still like think about it and shudder. Right, girls, should we get into the dilemmas? Yes, please. absolutely. Okay, dilemma one. Hey, ladies, I need your I need your help. I've been invited to a wedding this summer of a mutual friend. I share with my now ex-boyfriend. We had quite a bad breakup and this is the first time that I'm going to see him in six months. I need to look bomb. So what outfit suggestions have you got? Where would you say is like a, t a, f a good we got, few Let's shots. do a high street, let's do mid range and let's do an expensive look. Yeah, so, well, I'd say if you wanna look fire and really good body, it depends on your body type, but House of CD, CD those yes. snatch you in the way and boots. Yeah. yeah, it's a corset, but it's like a pretty flowery dress. I've actually been looking at, I've got a few, quite a few weddings this year and I've been, there's loads that are like either maxi or like ankle length slash or like midi. So that's really good. And, and they're only like, them that's again. bomb. 150 to 200, but you'll look fit. They I'm gonna get one fire. of those. Yeah. yeah. Reformation, gorgeous. They're a bit more expensive. Reformation's like, 
I would say more high end and it's really classy. You'll wear that again. again Floaty. Yeah. It's not that sexy, sexy, but gorgeous, no, they. Gorgeous, use, I don't think they're snatched because they always have that stretchy not back snatched, a bit. Yeah. So you, they don't snatch you in. They're probably a bit more comfortable. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, a bit more loose. And but if you want to look, flowing. and what fit. price would we say that is? Like two hundred and two fifty, three hundred. Yeah. Sometimes four fifty if you get a silk one. Yeah. yeah. How much is the house of CB? They're one hundred and fifty to two hundred. Right. Mango amazing at the moment they have this new capsule collection out which is all basically event dressing but it's more like black tie but and they're like 200 pounds actually on mango they have oh like God, it's called stunning. the capsule collection they're i'll tell you another shops. one rat and boa expensive but they are they're sexy gorgeous. that's like if you don't want the shapewear like you're you're very happy with your body you don't need anything pulling you in or like yeah. sucking in mm. and it, you just want like slinky a lot of skin and like sexy like, boho vibes. a lot of vibes. Out, a lot of arms. That's right yeah. and boho I think. There's a lot of higher websites that you could go to. Oh that my like, God, really yeah. Good. By Rotation, yeah. Her, borrowed from a three There's that I don't so have top of my head. They are amazing. I bought a secondhand Rat and Boa dress from Depop. Same. It was like 60 quid and it was it had been worn once by someone else. And I yeah. Wore it. Genius. Oh, and actually, I bought, I bought one from Vinted and also, um, I've lost, oh, the outlet. I think you just take your time doing your makeup and your hair and just feel make, really confident. Maybe get a blow dry. Yes. Get your contouring on from this get, video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Practice the Georgia before. Hibu tips. Oh, I tell you what. Do a trial run of the makeup. I've got yeah, the key yeah. thing, guys. Listen here. Get a spray tan. Oh, get an yeah. express it's nothing better Sienna than spray tan. X tan because every other one is orange to me. Really? And get that on you. The organic one that you suggested was lovely. That must be Sienna X because oh. I don't know. I don't think I've had a spray tan in like 10 years. Neither. I don't think you've ever had one. I have one at my I school. I might not ball. have actually. No, you've surely in Newcastle you've, days. You've never had one. Fake tan fails, sublime bronze. L'Oreal sublime bronze. Really? Oh, orange. Is that the instant stuff that like, washes off? Yeah, but it doesn't actually, it's instant. Like you put it on and you're orange, but then it actually stays. It's just like, <laughs> so I hey. used to do it before going to smack on a night out. Smacks in was Leamington our Spa. Local club was that like basically the only one. And I would stink. I would stink <laughs> nothing, nothing throughout like the club. Oh, and I would get yeah. home and all me and my friends would wear it and then we'd all be in bed together and like we oh, were like the stench of fake tan is nothing worse. Oh yeah, if you want for this wedding to feel really good, use a body if you've got skin. Body out. shimmer glow, yeah. blur stuff. Sally yeah. Hansen mix it in with a bit of moisturizer so it's not so matte. I feel gorgeous. Sh gorgeous. And it gets you know sometimes after, no matter if we like Wax, shave, laser. Sometimes you still get that like strawberry effect. Some people mm. get that on the legs. The body blur stuff gets rid of all of that, so you can just feel really confident with your legs. Yeah, I think that's quite important. I did actually fake tan for the first time eight two weeks ago, and I hadn't fake tan for honestly oh, yeah, months. I and I didn't I? And I was you like, I actually feel gorgeous. Why don't I do this? A tan yeah. is just like a tan on your face. Like, just quite a lot of admin. Then when you get patchy, maintain. you're like, oh, this is why I don't do it. Yeah, and it stinks. <laughs> it just stinks. I just find the day I do the fake tan, I'll leave it for two days, and then after that, every time I shower, I exfoliate, and then it completely fades so, like, perfectly. Okay, well, I'll do It never goes patchy. Shall I just give one more tip, because I love doing this? Um, You should have an ice bath or an ice cold shower. And face deep blanch. blanch. Yeah, shower Yeah, get a bowl, put some ice in it, and stick your face in. You will feel on top of the world. Get yourself some, listen to some manifestation thing where you're just telling yourself you look fantastic and, and then confident. off you go. I would also not drink too much. Oh, good Remain tip. in control at all times. You don't want to get messy. Don't water, want drink, messy. water, drink, water, drink, water, yeah. drink. Perfect. And I Spritz. think also give the, the whole like, I don't give a fuck energy. Like if he's there, go up to him like, oh my God, hey, how are you? So, so nice friendly. to see you. You look so well. And then just leave. Like yeah. just don't chat too much if you don't want to, but like always, don't feel like, you're avoiding him and don't let him think you are. I think the worst Either thing is if you up. like come across like you're in a mood or like a oh, death, or a don't like that vibe. Yeah, you've just got to be like, oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. I Almost as if you're not fine. exes. Like, don't yeah. give a fuck about yeah. you. Like, you can get with someone in front of me if you want. I won't care. Yeah. Should she crack on though? You crack on, I think. You oh know yeah, what? do like, what you want to do, but maybe not, not to just piss him to off. to piss him off though. Totally. Like if it happens because of someone gorgeous you fancy, yeah, but don't like just like... Don't like get off on his friends. Just oh God, God, no. God, no, 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 Also, no, no. like we don't want to, there's nothing worse than like forcing yourself to do something and then like the feeling you have a regret immediately after. Yeah. Nothing worse. God, do you, you guys always remember the that. games like back in the day? Like yeah. when I was at uni, like if I fancied a boy, I would like try and flirt with his mate. What I know. was going through my mind? I know, it's natural human nature. Yeah. I actually remember one, one person saying to me, I'm friends with that boy. And I was like, oh, God, that. <laughs> and it lives, oh, no. it lives rent free in my mind. What, I, the person you were flirting with was like, I'm friends with like, I was the guy clearly you're like with. getting with a guy. 
And he like, it, he, we weren't official or anything. And he obviously was like ignoring me that night. So I just started flirting with oh his mate. God, such like a quite obviously trying to flirt. I want to be sick and it lives, went through my mind. I remember him sort of like pushing me away and being like, no, I obviously wasn't all over it. But he was like, I'm best friends with so-and-so. And I was like, that's me. Fuck. That's me. That is definitely that was after. Right, dilemma two. I desperately need some advice or some sense shook into me. I've been best friends with this guy for around eight years. We've been sleeping each other for over a year and a half. It happens most weekends and we only talk about it when we're drunk. The conversation normally starts with one of us saying that we should stop and that it's bad. But I'm not going to lie, even that as a turn on. It's because it feels like a thing. Yeah, I get that. Oh, I get that. <laughs> but now I've caught really deep feelings and I don't know what to do. I can't bear to let it stop because I love the connection we have. But if it was going to turn into a relationship, wouldn't have done that by now. If you've watched one day, this feels very Dexter and Emma. Oh, For over a year and a half. It's a long time. And for most weekends. That's, no, that's sorry. Rude. I'm that's in like love a full-blown relationship. Point. I'm oh, absolutely yeah, be, in love. Well, she is. She's caught really deep feelings. I would. I call that L-O-V. It's really yeah. tough because boys don't develop feelings through sleeping with someone, whereas, whereas girls do. Sorry, that's weird as fuck. Know, You're not going to sleep with the same person every single weekend yeah. for a year and a half and not develop fe- feelings. You're a Some psychopath. Some boys can do that. Well, what should she do? Honesty is going to be the best policy here because if mm. you still want to be friends with it, you can't carry on like this because you're just going to get deeper and deeper in love and then you're never mm. going to know. I really find it hard to believe he wouldn't have feelings Same. back from every weekend for a year He and would half. have stopped it. Yeah. He would have been like, He'd found another girl. Yeah. yeah. It would have been like a quick and easy to... I... I don't... I think what I would do is I'd be like, look, well, I can't continue doing, doing this. this. Yeah, unless like it's... I love you so much as me, but I'm actually get I'm like getting feelings, and I just, just like I want to just I would play the route of like I just want to be friends. Obviously, we don't want this to go anymore. Hoping he says I think probably maybe that's a bit too subtle. Be like, well, um, I think then you need you might to give him a bit it. of room for, yeah. for him to get, be open. Be like, I don't, don't think I can carry on doing this because I'm I have catching feelings. feelings, and like unless it's going to go in another direction, I'm going to be. Hurt. I'm going to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to stop sleeping together yeah. because. Yeah, I think, and I think you have to have the conversation sober, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe or just one, one drink. drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just go for a nice dinner together, because obviously they must do that, right? And just be like, I don't think we can, like, do whatever tonight. Yeah. I think... I'm just trying to think, because this happened so with Jamie tough. and I, and that's how I got can, him Can we to... talk about how that happened, then? I literally Give said advice. he wasn't calling me his girlfriend, and we were obviously, like, having a secret whatever for ages. I mean, then it obviously got aired all over TV. But I made... I swapped it, because I was like, I can't do this anymore. Did you say that? Yeah, I said it, and then he was like... At first, he was like, okay, fine. And then he called me the next day and was like, oh, we're not going to do this. At first, he was like, yes, yeah, sweet, let's just be mates. Because he obviously felt rejected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it took a day and then they come crawling back. If a boy likes you enough, they're going to do that. I stopped it because I suddenly had feelings. But then I was like, I'm not going to just... I had feelings, but I obviously wanted it to go into a relationship. But he wasn't making that move. It was still becoming like this, we're just mates who are sleeping together. Yeah. So then I was like, I'm stopping this. Yeah, yeah, you have to take control back, I think. That's the best thing you can do. Because sometimes you can just fall into this habit. Sometimes, like boys if they don't have to be pushed into anything further they're just gonna keep it as it is yeah why wouldn't they so he might it? be like actually yeah i could have a relationship with her mm. i really like her but i didn't really feel the need to and also but if he doesn't being in a year and a half you're not then like opening yourself up to meet anyone else so like you're exactly. holding yourself back Fair. yeah it's unfair i think he'll turn around and be like oh well i don't want this to stop he's Same. obviously just having a sweet deal i think he will say he wants to date and stuff you think he will? As in her. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, like, same. yeah. Want to be in a relationship. Yeah. But if he doesn't reciprocate those feelings... Oh. You're going to probably have to take a slight step back from the friendship for a, for a minute because... Mm. The break. It's going to be hard to see someone that you've got that habit with doing And every that. time you get drunk, you're just going to end up You're going to end up doing it, yeah. So you probably have to take a step back and just be like, I actually just need to get over this for a minute because I actually caught feelings and I wasn't expecting to. And, like, I don't want it to ruin our friendship, but in order for me to get over it, I need to have yeah. some space from us doing yeah. this. I also think in my mind, I'm up, like, I, I would be annoyed that he hasn't made a move before a year and a half. I'd be like, yeah, why haven't three you been like asking me like, Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like definitely been enough time now. Right, let us know please what happens because this is actually, I feel like this, we have a lot of dilemmas in this sort of like realm where people are asking mm. advice on how to get out of 
situations so. like this. So we'd love to know how this goes. Okay, dilemma three. Okay, this is a big one, guys. Okay, I'm listening. My friend has recently started dating again after a five-year relationship came to an end. She met a guy on one of the apps who she thought was the man of her dreams. He was tall, dark, and handsome, and living in London with a cockapoo puppy. Oh, God. They tick, always tick, are. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> However, oh my God. We, he worked in Bristol, so he was regularly staying there during the weeks. He asked her number, and they started messaging on WhatsApp. She noticed that his name was his name was different on WhatsApp than on Uh-oh. his dating app, so she questioned it. He told her that he prefers to go by his middle name. She thought it was strange and made a joke about being catfished. He laughed it off and sent a photo of himself holding a note with her name on it. Okay, right. that's fine. Oh, so they've not met at all in person. No. Right. She thought it was strange, but really liked the guys to let it slide. After a few weeks of speaking, they arranged to meet for a date in Bristol. She had a good time, but nothing came from it. Okay, so it wasn't a catfish. Fine. After the date, she then tried to find him online. Facebook, Instagram, and even LinkedIn, and she couldn't find him. Suspect. (gasps) When someone's just not on the internet, I'm like... LinkedIn, you've got to be on LinkedIn. In any (laughs) capacity. Like, LinkedIn's... I'm not on LinkedIn. No, but you're you're all over the internet, though, (laughs) <laughs> Your fucking face is everywhere. I will find you in a heartbeat. Two weeks later, he came up as a suggested friend on Facebook, and his profile picture was of him in a suit and a girl in a wedding dress. <gasps> You're lying. <gasps> You're fucking. Because li- her phone, <gasps> his number would have been in her phone, so it would have been a. He suggested. used his middle name online to avoid being caught because he had a wife. Yeah. Oh I know. That's my what was god. Going. My friend does her research and it's showed that he had an amazing wedding abroad and she discovered that he started messaging her only a few days after he returned from his honeymoon. <gasps> Son of a... Why are people such pigs? The wife He's actively gone out there to create it on a dating app. Like actively just wants to cheat. What the hell? The wife yeah. is public on Instagram and you can tell she's utterly in love. No! My friend doesn't know what to do. Does she message the wife and tell her what happened? But as you can imagine, she's worried about the heartbreak this might cause. Or does she leave it alone? I would message her I think because at this, this point, it's guy is life. not right. It's not just a small relationship. Know, it's they're married. Then, Let like, her know. It's so sad. You don't want to like, be the, the wife's meddler. happy and ignorant. Of the, obviously, you have to tell. I her. She'll find out at some point. She'll, he'll be on dating apps. Like so many people will see that. What a pig! <gasps> that he's going to cheat that their whole life. Oh if he's God, yeah. There's going no way out back. on dating apps as soon as he's back from his honeymoon. He probably had a dating app when he was not getting married. They right. obviously they went for an actual date in Bristol. Did you kiss and sleep? Together? Probably. Right, so what's she going to do? Make a fake account? I think I would do it as... I wouldn't do a fake account. Like, if I was going to tell her, she might want to call properly. me and ask questions. Yeah, so be a just, girl's girl. Yeah, yeah, like, you don't give a fuck if he is knows who you are. I really hope this girl's going to stop dating him. I would Instagram with the proof immediately and then say, this is my number if you want to call me. Yeah. You know what is a fucking good hack? If you think your boyfriend's iMessaging someone, this is what you can do. They would have deleted the... Right, this is... Phenomenal, right? Okay, well. Can you just send me an iMessage right now, Sophie? Yeah. Okay. So iMessages obviously come up on your phone, like a text message. Like a text message. Yeah. So this is obviously not WhatsApp. I don't think this works for WhatsApp. So if I, this is me. I'm a shady guy. I'm messaging Sophie, and I'm having an affair. I'm going to delete. Recently deleted. Yeah. So you're holding down. I've deleted the messages, right? Okay. Now what I can do is I can go. I think it's is it edited? Show. So I'm on my <gasps> boyfriend's phone. Show yeah, recently unbelievable. deleted, and then the recently deleted messages all come up, and you can recover them all and go through them. Guys, I saw this on TikTok too. Yeah. So if your boyfriend is, you think he's having like naughty messages for someone or having an affair on iMessage, you can fucking get them all back. You can find them all now, but you need to act quick because he might sniff this out and, and he, he might will... delete them, <laughs> delete it. Yeah, he might delete the deleted because yeah. you can also do this in your album, photo album. Yeah, yeah. Recently same deleted. as that. It's the same thing. Same thing. I wonder if that's on WhatsApp too. It's not, I don't think it is, otherwise that'd be oh. WhatsApp's hard because it's so encrypted. Totally. Yeah. And you have all those like locked messages and I'm like, You can also have sketch. those other app messaging apps that yeah. like I reckon a cheat like a good cheater would just get one of those hiding. Or they in a just folder. have a whole new phone. Because I wouldn't know what any of them are called. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't have they're like in day. they look like a calculator somewhere. Well, they do like teams or something and be like, it's just what Guys, obviously we have Georgia here and we're really excited to get all the answers to these questions that we have. I think you guys have written them in as well. So this is stuff you want to know. Ah. Quick fire, quick Mm -hmm. fire, quick fire. What's some of the best no makeup makeup, e.g. tinted moisturizer? 
Well, we were just saying we love the new, did you say Kosas? Kosas. Kosas. BB cream. So, I've not tried that oh, one. It's, it's really so good. good. It's actually pretty good coverage. Yeah, I think But it, it does doesn't do look like and Anything. Kosas concealer as well. That concealer I would wear with no makeup yeah. and then just pop that on and you, you know some concealer you can tell you've got concealer yeah. on. Totally. That you look like got no makeup but just skin. flawless skin. Yeah. I that's... also feel like Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter just that. Is so, it? Yeah. Also gorgeous. Merit. Really good. Merit Yeah, is I, I haven't bought any of that yet. I need to you do that. Love. I know. Okay, yeah. how do I stop the concealer under my eyes from creasing? This is really common so first of all you should really prep your under eyes with a really good eye cream before you put any makeup on what is a good one i uh, find it goes pilly whenever i use an eye yeah cream. so uh, the trick apparently to that i'm not that good at myself i do more trial and error but it's to not mix a water base and a silicone base oh. so if you're using like a silicone based oh. um concealer or, or makeup don't have a water based primer or moisturizer so creamy, creamy, like so do like yeah. everything to be so like a Charlotte Tilbury based. magic cream is really good for that, isn't it? Yeah, that would be That's really good. That's meant for under makeup. So yeah, Charlotte best. Tilbury uh, skincare is meant to sit well under makeup, and it does sit really well. Whereas some brands Pilly. really Pill. don't. Yeah, it's also the SPF at them. Um, Pill, Pill, Pill. And then also once you're the other tip, I would don't when you're doing your foundation, don't go under your eyes because you don't need the double layer of no. makeup. So do you like foundation to like. Oh. Leave your under eyes bare and then just do just the concealer under eyes. Oh, yeah, that's so like you're double tip. layering. What? Why have I never ever um, got that? Yeah. I also, for some reason, with concealer, just because I'm scared about it going creasy, I literally just do it in that corner and then blend it to this. I don't have it under that bit, which maybe I shouldn't. I'm no, sure. you, it, it depends. Like, I like it really, and do less than you think and use an eyeshadow brush okay. to it's really soft. I mean. I don't do half these tips myself most of the time when I'm rushing to do my own makeup. But <laughs> if I'm doing someone's makeup, I would make sure I do this. Use an eyeshadow brush and really very little, way less product than you need. And then obviously set it with a powder, a good powder. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish is, to be honest, to be the best powder there is. Um, setting it with that, you should be good. Stunning, Perfect. right. I'm doing my own wedding makeup. What do I need to know? Do you have videos and stuff on your Instagram? I actually do. I have a video of how I did so sweating makeup, and I also do have a video of how I did my own wedding makeup. Perfect. I feel like just send on my Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, we'll put the link of that. Is that up. like a reel? That yeah, it's a real find. full tutorial. Perfect. Just tips. I would say is you actually probably want more than you would normally do because okay. it doesn't show up in pictures. So you just want to look like you're wearing some makeup. Like if you just do very natural, it will look like you're not wearing any makeup. Um, and you want to make sure you use setting spray so that it lasts all day. And you want before to... and after putting your makeup on. Yeah, before when you've done your so primer, moisturize. your moisturizer, drench your facing setting spray, let it sit. Then do your then makeup, do then you drench it again. So literally loves to. Drench. Do you drench the second I time drench. after contour? I actually after wouldn't. Face. Uh, you can do that as well. You can lay. I just do before and, and off at the end, but some Very people end. do like literally okay. setting spray in layers. I don't okay. necessarily think you need that. But like, if you do, you could literally wipe your face with a tissue and it doesn't come Shut off. Shut up. Which setting spray is your Charlotte favorite? Charlotte Tilbury. Oh. Kylie. Kylie Cosmetics. Got it. Really? Yeah. It's really good. Okay, I'm going to make a purchase. And it I actually smells saw really a not chemical. Of some, did you, have you seen these? Like, saw a TikTok of someone testing all setting sprays. Oh, yeah. And Kylie Cosmetic was the best one. Right, I'm going to buy it. Really? And it, Kylie Cosmetic doesn't feel like you've got, it feels like it's like a clear water mist. Oh, my God, love it. Smells good. It smells yeah, it really smells really good. good. Okay. Are there any makeup skincare dupes you think are better than the original? Hmm. Mm. Um, dupes. Well, you love that Maybelline Four in One Glow. Four in One Glow, which is kind of a Hollywood flawless filter dupe. I've heard is that. It? Yeah, heard and it's that. quite it's good. Really it's really good, guys. It's really good. I, I mean, I do love Hollywood flawless filter. Though. I don't know if you can beat that. Same. It's just that really thin, like it's not it's something it's like there, a sheer layer isn't it yeah yeah it like, like never to... goes claggy it, it mm. like fades perfectly it doesn't look like there's anything on your skin but then you look like flawless. kind of flawless it's mental it's yeah. unbelievable i think that big applicator as well is just so easy to yeah, use just... I love... also they're selling mini ones guys in space and case i have a mini one in my bag at all times and i keep one at toby's and in, in my wash bag just so after i've done like my skincare and i've got no makeup the next day i'm like maybe i just put some of this on because i look a bit shit today and it just makes you look that little bit extra glowy, glowy. love her do you know what is good so you know elf are basically they just do dupes do of they everything. all of alpha's dupes of everything what? why didn't i know that yeah Elf they? cosmetics is like just dupes um and they are it is pretty good to be honest. So their lip oils wow. are really good. Okay. And they they 
they do copy a lot of Charlotte Tilbury stuff, so I'm sure Charlotte Tilbury don't love them, and some things better, some things not. Um, Are they but, more affordable? Yeah, it's really, it's, it's like boot that's prices, high street prices. Um, but one thing I've tried that's definitely really good from e.l.f. is they did a dupe of the Milk uh, Primer. So yeah, that's the e.l.f. Primer. I think I've got the red one, but you can get, like, it comes out clear, so don't worry, you're not going to have red skin. <laughs> um, but it's just really good. It's stick. I've got, I've got tried so many different primers, like really expensive ones, like top end brands, and I don't know why this one doesn't go pilly mm-hmm. and it just sits, sticks to your makeup really well. I've used it on you a few times, so you probably just didn't see what I was no. using, but um, yeah, I much prefer it. I'm not going to say the brands I don't like, but I much prefer it to some of the expensive okay. brands I've used. Very good. How do I get my makeup to last all night? I'm guessing just the setting spray. Setting spray drink. and a really good powder. Like I do think you don't ever want don't want to look cakey, but the Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish it is powder. It's such a good powder. It's, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. I also like it's the so YSL uncakey. Powder. It's so it's powder. so fine. That's why it's really fine. The YSL powder I quite like too, and the Kosas powder. It? Oh yeah, I, I could try that. I, it's not as good. It's different. I just think I can. No, to me, nothing is like no, that. Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, Charlotte Tilbury. You can one. apply that all day, and you yeah. will not look but cakey. It's yeah. phenomenal. It's stuff. mental. Right, the people. This are question: in. How do you get your hair so perfect? Oh, that's just genetics. <laughs> that's so nice. Um, I don't know. It looks probably as awful. <laughs> it's just genetics, guys. Like yeah. every people ask me, they're like, "Is Sophie's sister got extensions?" I'm like, "I wish I could say yes." Yeah, no. she just I do do it a lot. Like I, op- it's done most of the time, and I use an air wrap, and I do use nice products. Like I make sure I, I really love what Color Wow okay. and um, Moroccan oil products. Okay. I use them a lot. So whenever I wash my hair, it's never just shampoo and conditioner. I do like right. a leave-in. Really? Condi- yeah. I like this. I what? watched this morning, and I did the coconut leave-in and conditioner from Color Wow, and How then long? I do. Pardon? How long? Oh, you just leave it in, so it's just you, you put, put it in and leave in. Oh, that's why leave in. <laughs> you went leave in. How you long? Um, and then I also drench it like every other time I wash it in the dream coat, so it's super shiny. The what? Color Wow Dream yeah. Coat. Yeah, Color Wow Dream You do coat. not. I literally oh, use is that a spray? In my house. Yeah, I've it's seen like a wet that. spray. And then I also... That's to get the hard water off, isn't it? Yeah. I've also been using L'Oreal Metal Detoxing. Oh, okay. I like it a lot. And then I also use Color Wow Serum in the ends or Moroccan Oil Serum in okay. the ends. And then I always finish with loads of shine spray too. What's shine what? spray? Uh, Color Wow. Sh- Sorry, well, shine you've been ga- gatekeeping these products. Also, I never ever knew. I think that we also need I to put, put it on my Instagram. Using all those products isn't going to make our hair like George's because no. you grabbing that tiny strand when you just did is literally my entire head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia <laughs> like has just in that one little strand. It's so much. You know when Georgia so was a kid, gorgeous. they used to like. Firstly, they were, she was like three and they well, were like- you gonna get traded for a cow for your hair or something? No, when no. she was like three, they were like, we have to book her in for adult prices. Like we can't charge her a kid's price. She's like yeah. three years old. My mum's like, for God's sake. Tony and then she would have- adult price. <laughs> at three. And then Georgia would always have like three people blow dragging her hair. When I'd have just one. And like, she's always just- You do this. have thick hair. I've got thick hair, but yours but is yours like, is a whole other level. Actually, Jamie sometimes in hot summer days he just walks down the street and goes, "Imagine how hot Georgia is." <laughs> he honestly can't get it out of his head. He's like that big scarf oh, around it's like her a neck. Scarf. Do you know what is really sad though? I do obviously I'm grateful for my long thick hair, but your long, um, yeah, my lateral long hair. <laughs> um, but I really I'm so sad I can't have a nice bun. Yeah, it Why? really because it looks like a ballerina donut bun. You like, should try you know the TikTok. Cool try the TikTok buns. one. What's that? I'll, sh- I'll send it to you. Okay. But I did oh, it. Up, I did it for um half up and half down. The Brits. No. So you grab it, then you twist, and you grab another thing, and then you twist, and you pull it through, and it's like almost these three messy loops, and then with them, it's so good. I'll send it to you. I'll try. Really easy. Amazing. Okay, we love you Thank so you much. Thank you so so much for coming on. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Right, so next time George is coming on, because she's coming on very shortly, we are going to do more contouring, more makeup tips, more dilemmas. So send them all in. Send us all the beauty hacks you want and every single question you need. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.